Hi there everyone and today I have a fantastic chess game to show you. Uh, this is a chess game that you most definitely have to see. Uh, in this chess game we have William Edward Napier and his opponent was an unknown chess player and the location uh, was also unknown. Uh, this mysterious chess game was played in 1904 in an unknown location and William Edward Napier uh, was a British American and he played a match with the United States chess champion Frank James Marshall and Marshall was 19 years old and Napier was 16 years old and he defeated Marshall 7 to 1 I repeat 7 to 1 and you probably heard the name of Frank James Marshall but maybe not Napier well that was a very bad defeat for Frank James Marshall the famous chess player Okay, so Napier was most definitely a very strong chess player and this is one of his notable immortal chess games. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Uh, William Edward Napier starts the game with e4 and we have the king's gambit which is usually very exciting. So knight to f3, g5, h4 and in this position Napier goes forward and this is actually sacrificing the knight. Because after pushing the pawn, where is the knight going? So knight takes on f7 uh, and black is losing the casting rights, pushing the pawn and pushing the pawn, bishop takes on f4, so this is double-edged, of course, pluses and minuses. Black is losing the casting rights and black has a crumpy position, but white is sacrificing a piece. So bishop to g7, knight to c3, d takes on e4, and then bishop to c4 check and where is the king going? We have king to g6. Well, the other options are not very appetizing. If king to f8, then castling and this looks tricky. Lining the rook with the king. And if king to e8, then queen to e2 and this is also looking very tricky. Pretty tricky. So bishop to c4, king to g6. Okay, pushing the pawn but hiding the king. And then knight takes on e4 and black captured the pawn and black is saying, okay, let's exchange the queens. And of course, if exchanging the queens, black is winning and black is very happy. So Napier says, no, bishop to d3. And did you see the threat <laughs> in this position? Where black did, black played bishop to f5. And let's play a random move. Uh, what would you do in this position? Well... This should be sufficient. Discover check, double check, check, mate. Oh boy. So, white is threatening checkmate in this position. Knight to f6. So, bishop to f5. And Napier played a very exciting move in this position. What would you do if you had the white pieces? And that is the best move in this position. Okay, did you see queen takes on g4? What a move. And we have queen to d7 and this was a blunder. Which move was not blunder? Well, you can't play something like this, of course, because we captured the bishop. And okay, uh, black has to play uh, knight to e7 and this is defending everything. But it is getting tricky. Okay. So in the real chess game, we have queen to d7 and I think in this position uh, if bishop takes knight what would you do <laughs> if you had the white pieces I mean you don't have to be a chess master to be able to see this I think this should be checkmate because bishop takes bishop takes checkmate so we have queen to d7 uh, what would you do if you had the white pieces. Napier played a fantastic move. Okay, I hope you have seen queen to g6 and this is the only move. And now, okay, this is also tricky. There is only one move that wins. What would you do again? It is white to move and win. Actually, white has force checkmate. Okay, I mean, if you say knight to f6 or pawn takes bishop, those moves are losing for white. So Napier played 
knight to g5 i hope you have seen this move and this is the only move and then napier captured the bishop discovered check double check check mate simply amazing so let's take it back i mean let's check out this chess game once again it is a miniature a very short chess game so let's check out some of the critical moves first queen takes on g4 very beautiful if capturing the queen we have checkmate like this so after queen takes on g4 queen to d7 was a blunder but then check check and then checkmate how beautiful is this what an elegant incredible chess game by william edward napier uh, okay so i hope to see you next time with more interactive beautiful chess games from the chess history just stay safe take care and bye bye thanks for watching